So my name is Maddie Markle. I've got an English major with minors in creative writing and Russian. And today I'm talking about a dream is a wish you work for. No offense to Cinderella, but I think you should work for your dreams, not just let them stay in your heart. Um, so when I came to BYU, I'd only had work experience at a movie theater. It was the best of times, the worst of times, emphasis on the worst. And I thought people would judge me because I was there so long as a minimum wage worker and that, that showed I had no ambition, whereas I had a lot of dreams, a lot of ambition, and I wanted a chance to show that off to people. Um, and so my first dream ever since I was working there was working a desk job. I really wanted to be a secretary. It just sounds so ideal getting paid to like make copies and do things. And um, it just, I don't know why, but that's what I, I latched onto when I came here. I saw other people doing it that were students. It's like, that should be me. My other dream was that ever since I was little, I really wanted to be a missionary. I ha saw all the boys singing, I hope they call me on a mission. And I thought it was kind of like a little boys club and I was a little miniature fem feminist. I said, if they can do it, I can do it too and I can do it better. Um, my brother, he ended up serving when I was in junior high in the Baltic States mission speaking Russian. And so I decided that not only was I gonna serve a mission, it was gonna be in Russia so I could learn Russian too. Um, it didn't work out that way. I ended up serving in Mississippi, um, which was great. It was, <laughs> it was really hot and it was a lot of work, but it was amazing. I wouldn't change it for the world. I loved my experience as a missionary. I learned a ton. But when I came home from my mission, I, life kind of hit me in the face. Um, I kind of felt dead a little bit. I didn't know what I was doing, and um, I still wanted to be a secretary, so within a week, I applied to 15 on-campus secretary jobs. The first one to contact me was the English department, which was actually like my dream within a dream job, because then I could like <laughs> network with teachers and things, and it just sounded really cool. And they actually hired me, and it was amazing. I loved working for the English department, learned a lot, learned to make copies. Um, got to like network with professors and I loved it. At the same time, I started learning Russian on my own, well, in school. And so right now I'm in my fourth semester and it quickly has been my favorite class every single semester I've taken it. It's been so hard, but teachers and the students in the Russian department are amazing. I've loved my experience. And so when I came here, I wanted to go to study abroad to England, do the typical English major thing, but quickly it's changed to, I wanted to go to Russia again. <laughs> I want to go to study abroad to Russia. But the problem was, um, which means I have no money. And so people always say that there's money out there, you just have to know where to find it. I didn't know where to find it, and then once I started looking at things, no one wanted to give me money. I was like, this sucks. Um, but um, I decided that even though it's really annoying, um, that's okay. I was gonna like just take it, bring it on, and so I decided to take advantage of the experiences here in Provo. So I went to the English department um, internship page, and I started looking at things, still fully intending to do an internship with my dream job at the department. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I quickly realized I had some gaps in my resume. I could write pages and pages on Hamlet, but I had no technical writing experience. Um, there was a lot of good things that the English major gave me, but I hadn't really applied them yet, or I didn't realize I was applying them. I'd taken some Photoshop classes in the library, but I didn't know what I was doing with them yet. But I just kind of took a chance. I found an internship that sounded like something my friend was doing, so I emailed her about it. Um, that lady that I emailed about the internship never emailed me back, but then my friend emailed me back, said they had a job at her place. It's really confusing. I was like, well, this sounds pretty cool. But like, I always thought networking was these people in suits. It was really scary, small talk, and it was just an awful, awful thing. But for me, networking ended up being just talking to my best friend, Sadie, talking to her about her job, and talking to her about things that she was doing and saying I was interested in the same things. Um, she's an amazing artist, this is her and me. She did it, not me. Um, but, and they loved her at her job, so she ended up getting me an um, interview there, and they liked me, my resume, this was my portfolio. I don't know if you can tell, it's mostly high school art projects. It was a writing sample from my English major classes. I thought it wasn't very polished, but they really, really liked Sadie, and so they hired me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw potential in me as well. And so they ended up, they trained me in InDesign, which is a desktop publishing system. So the first month I worked there, I watched lots of videos. I became an InDesign guru, kind of. And I learned in Photoshop, other things along the way. And they paid me to do it. I thought I had to know that coming in. And so now there, I, we could have these impromptu Photoshop, photo shoots. Um, and then I get to like work them in Photoshop and put them in InDesign and then put them on social media. And it's great, and it's a lot of creative work, and I love it. I didn't know that was my dream coming into it. And my new dream is to go to Lotf on an internship, which has changed, and I've realized that there's mo more money for internships abroad. And so as I've chased my dreams, I've learned that um, they can change, they can grow, 
and I have the skills necessary, and I can get the skills necessary. Thank you.